Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these colorful Native American style long fringe earrings. I'm showing this in easy steps and even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. Please subscribe, like, share and comment for more tutorials like this one. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Okay, now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 ounce seed beads and these are turquoise, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue and iris. And I'm also using here earring findings that are liver bags, you could use others of your choice. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. And this is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but sometimes I use them to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to start with about an arm span of thread on my needle and then we should add more thread in the process of our work. Okay dear friends and I'm starting my work by picking up a red and an orange bead. And I'm going to slide those down and I'll leave a small tail here. Later I will put my needle on it, make some knots and finish my work. Okay, so now as I'm exiting from the orange one, I'm going through the red one. I pull and I have this. They are next to each other guys with the holes pointing in one direction. And then I go through the orange one. Okay. In my next step I'm taking a yellow one and I go in the orange. And then I pull. Also this one is standing side to side with the others and all the holes are pointing in one direction. Don't worry that at this point they zigzag like this, we'll fix it later. Then it comes a purple bead. Go through the yellow backwards, fix it and go through the purple. Then a turquoise bead, go through the purple, back in circle, and after that through the turquoise again. Purple, Okay, I have this and now I'm going to repeat this but the other way around, yellow, orange and red. Okay, my friends, now I have this and now guys, I'm going to go backwards through all of my beads. Okay, and I have my first row ready 
and now it will become easier. I need a red and an orange and now I'm starting the so-called brick stitch. You see when I turn my work like this here I have thread bridges between my beads and now I will go here under the second thread bridge because in my next row I will have less beads than in my previous row. That is why I'm going under the second thread bridge. And this is called decreasing brick stitch, which means that in the next row you have less beads. Okay. First step, go under the thread bridge as I showed you. Then go uh, through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And then go through the previous one. And backwards through the same one. And this last step was because I want to reinforce my work. To reinforce the, those beads and make them stay nice and tight next to each other. Because when I go through the second thread bridge they stretch a little bit and need this reinforcement. Then I'm going to take a yellow one. And I go under the next thread bridge as you may see. And then through this yellow one. After that a purple. Next thread bridge. Again a purple. go under the following thread bridge and backwards and after that yellow orange red Okay, this is my next row and for the next one I need a red and an orange and again because I decrease, this is a triangular shape and decreases and I go under the second thread bridge and I will be going under the second thread bridge with this work all the time. But when I go through the second thread bridge and backwards to the bead that is closer to the center after that I need to reinforce and make them stay nice and tight next to each other. After that I'm going to add yellow, purple, yellow, orange, red. Now again I take red and orange, I always start with two beads each row and I always go under the second thread bridge with this work and after that go through the one which is closer to the center and after that I reinforce. Now I will add one by one yellow, yellow, orange, red.
Again, I'm doing the same thing as before. Now yellow, orange, red. The same thing as always, second thread bridge. Okay, this is what we have now. Then I take orange and red. Again, guys, I have here only three thread bridges, but I use the second one, which is the central one, in fact, in this step. Go through the orange. Reinforce. Add here one orange, uh, one red. And finish this row, guys, with two blue beads. And here, as I'm exiting from this bead, I have two thread bridges. I go through the second one. From my side, this is the second one from the side that I'm exiting out of and then through this blue bead. Now I'm going to take my earring finding guys. I'm going through it like this. And then I go back through this blue bead. And I want to reinforce this loop here. Okay. Again, like this. And through some beads in this direction. Now, guys, it's time to put a needle at this end and finish my work. Okay, I'll put the needle here and I'll be back. Okay, and I put the needle here at this end. And I want to go in this direction, guys. I want to make a knot. Pull tight to hide it. And then you could just zigzag through your work. In fact, it's not obligatory to make a knot. You could just zigzag through your work. And after you feel you did enough zigzagging, you might want to cut your thread. Okay. Now let's continue with the main thread here if you remember now what i want to do is go in this direction and 
come here where I want to start my fringes. Okay, now I will take a long sequence of beads here, guys, and I'll be back to tell you what it is. Okay, guys, so this is the sequence that I'm going to be taking all the time. Just in the next fringes before it, I will add more beads. Okay, and the sequence is 3 red, 3 iris, 2 blue, 1 iris, 1 blue, 1 iris, 3 blue, 1 purple, 2 blue, 4 purple, 1 yellow, 1 purple, 4 yellow, 1 orange, 1 yellow, 4 orange, 1 red, 1 orange, 4 red, 1 turquoise, 1 red, 4 turquoise, 1 iris, 1 turquoise, 9 iris and 3 purple. Okay, this is the sequence. I'm gonna be taking this one all the time, just before it a few beats. You could always come back to this frame to see the whole sequence. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is uh, just take all of those beads like this and go in the iris bead in this direction. Then I'm going to pull. Pulling like this and I want to have this shape, guys. You see? Like a triangle. And then what I can do is to pull all the beads like this and because I want to tighten up my work. And when you make fringes, use nylon thread and pre-stretch it because in this way you won't have a gap here between the this part, which is the brick stitch part and the fringe part. Okay, this is one of the tricks that I'm using not to have a gap between those beads. And now what I want to do is go backwards through all of those beads in this direction. I'm going to be showing you this only at the first fringe because I think there is no, no point showing this all the time and make you watch me do this all the time. At this part, be careful not to skip any beads because you should come back and redo this. If you do this, it won't look good at all. Okay, then the other uh, trick I want to do is to go back here through two beads in this direction. Okay, then I want to exit through the following bead and to start the next fringe, as you may see. Here, because I did small knot, I will go through those beads one by one. And here, as you may see, I used my pliers. Some of my orange beads are with small holes, that is why I needed to do this. Okay, now I will pick up the next long sequence, which will be absolutely the same like this one, but I will have three orange beads before it. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, dear friends, and now my next fringe is almost ready. I took the same sequence that I took here, but I added three orange beads before that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. I will go here skipping these purple beads through the one that is after that, which is the this beautiful iris bead, and I'm going to pull. And then I don't want to make you watch me go through all of those beads and back here. That is why I'll do this off camera and when I come through, through these two orange beads then I'll go back through these two yellow beads and I will make the next sequence. 
Okay guys, and I went through all of those beads and now I'm exiting out of this yellow bead and I'm in a position to start my next fringe. And I'll pick up the same sequence guys, but before that I will take three yellows and three orange beads. And after that the familiar sequence. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and as you may see guys, I took this whole sequence but with three yellow and three orange before that and I will come back through this bead skipping this tree and I will exit out of the purple one and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay my friends and now I'm here I'm exiting out of this purple bead and now I will be taking the same sequence but before that I will take three purple three yellow and three orange beads and after that this sequence from here from the red ones and to until the end okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and as i told you i added three purple three yellow and three orange and after that the same sequence I will go back through all of those beads, exit here and then my thread will be over so I'll show you how I cut this thread and add another one to continue. Okay guys and I went back through all of those beads and now I'm exiting out of this purple bead here and you see my thread is not enough for another fringe. That is why I'm going to make a knot zigzag through my beads and cut this thread. Okay. I'm making here a loop, going through this loop and pulling. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And here, sometimes you need your pliers to go through those beads. And after that, I could zigzag through my work, make another knot if I want, but, but I think this is enough. And I'm cutting my thread as close as possible to my work. If something is sticking out, you could always burn it with a zipper later. Okay, now I'll put another arm span of thread on my needle. Even more if you want. And I'll be back to show you how we continue. Okay, guys, and I put new thread on my needle. And it is about an arm span long again. And I pre-stretch it because I don't want to have gaps here between the brick stitch part and the fringe part. And now what I'm going to do is to add it to my work. And how I do this, I go through some beads in this direction. I pull. Here you know I have a tail thread and I'm holding it with my thumb. Then what I do is to make here a knot and how I do this I make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and pull. Then I want to go diagonally and reach this middle bead that I will start my next fringe from, the turquoise one. Okay, and I'm exiting out of this turquoise. And now guys, it's time to get rid of this thread. And as I said, if the thread is visible after you cut it, burn it with a zipper. And now I think you could guess what's coming up next. And what's coming up next are three turquoise three purple, three yellow and three orange and after that the familiar sequence. Okay, I'll take the first part and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have this part, three turquoise, three purple, three yellow and three orange and after that I will take the familiar sequence that I took all the time and I'll be back. And you see guys, I added absolutely the same sequence again here from the red. It's absolutely the same at each fringe. Just the beginning is different. Okay, then I'll go back through all of those beads. I'll exit here at this purple and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, and now my middle fringe is ready. And from now on guys, I'm going to repeat these four fringes, but the other way around. So here I will add this one, here I will add this one, here I will add this one, and here I will add this one. So I will mirror them and I'll do this off camera and you have from where to watch guys. If you want, watch from the already done fringes or you could rewind the video and repeat them the other way around. Okay, and when I'm ready, I'll be back. Okay, dear friends, and now I'm ready here with my last fringe. And what I need to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, uh, I just went back through this fringe and I'm exiting at this red edge here and I want to make here a loop and I'm going through this loop I'm pulling then I want to go through some beads in this direction you could repeat this knot if you want one more time after you do this you go through the following few beads and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work okay guys and now my colorful native american style seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and this way you will be notified when i make new tutorials similar to this one also check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.